First thing, the bumpers, I uh, need to really mention those. They're just, they're beautiful. The chrome on those is just perfect. Uh, as far as all the other chrome and, and trim and moldings and bright work, that's all in really nice condition as well, too, on this car. Um, you've got the steel hood, of course. Uh, it's got that matte black hood decal. Uh, and then, of course, you've got the shaker scoop sticking up through that hood. Uh, they have the hood pins in here. They're not necessarily needed. You do have the regular factory hood latch underneath there that keeps it held down. They just have these on for the look there. But they, are, uh, they can be functional, though. Uh, working our way back here, um, you've got the factory style chrome. Um, I know they have a certain name for these, but I'm not just up to date on the Ford stuff as much. Uh, but they're like a factory style chrome rally wheel almost that come on these Mustangs. Um, they've got the Mach 1 decal down the side of the car and clear back the rear quarter panel. Um, we move forward a little bit more here. The door elevations on the door are really good, uh, both front and back. Uh, you also have these bullet style mirrors on here, and you've got these on both the driver's side and the passenger side. Driver's side also is the remote uh, control mirror there, so you can adjust that from inside the door there. Um, we'll just go ahead and open that door up, show you a little bit on the interior here. Again, door jams uh, are all in excellent shape. You look at the door sill plates in here, they're in excellent condition as well. Uh, all your door seals are in really good condition. I see no cracking or, or just you know anything that looks like it's wet, been weathered very bad, and it looks all fairly new there. Uh, we've got the white interior, kind of a mix. You've got the, the white upholstered seats, white door panels, white headliner. You've got the black dash, black center column, and uh, then you have the black carpeting, and they have some stitched in floor mats also in there. Nice little touch there. As far as the dash goes, it retains pretty much all of your factory gauges. You've got your, your factory um, alternator gauge, uh, the 120 mile an hour speedo, your fuel and water temperature gauge and oil pressure gauges. It does have aftermarket uh, water pressure or water temperature and oil pressure gauges, and those are autometer gauges, so good name brand gauges there. Retains the factory heater controls. Uh, and this car, I believe, is radio delete. There's no radio here for you. Um, all seat belts are in the car too, and there's no shoulder harness on this one. Um, so we'll go ahead and shut that. And they shut real nice and easy. You've got the uh, iconic uh, quarter panel scoops here on, on the back of the car, working our way back. Uh, you've got the, the Mustang, the horse emblems here on the sail panels on both sides. As you come back now to the rear of the car, you've got the black spoiler. Again, uh, that's something that was a staple to these Mustang uh, fastbacks. Uh, and of course the Mach 1 as well. And then again, the chrome rear bumpers. Again, the chrome is just immaculate on the car. So, uh, But you'll get to see a little bit more of that when we get around to the back side of the car. Now we're at the back of the Mustang Mach 1 here. To show you around it a little bit here. Uh, again, the chrome front bumpers and rear bumpers, just immaculate condition. You've got that iconic fuel cap back here with that Mustang logo in it. Uh, you've got the Mach 1 striping around the tail panel as well. Down below, you've got the reverse lights uh, with the chrome bezels around them and the rubber gaskets around those are in excellent condition. You've got the dual tailpipe extensions. I would imagine those are probably stainless as well because the rest of the exhaust is all stainless. We'll go ahead and open this up now, show you inside. Of course on the underside of the trunk lid as well as inside the trunk, it's all painted the same color as the car. It's painted that Gulfstream aqua color, very eye appealing color, very nice. Uh, it's one of my favorite colors around that car. As far as inside the trunk, not a whole lot to talk about. It's pretty plain, pretty ordinary in here. They do have a nice Mustang mat in here to kind of cover up the top of the fuel tank. And the top, of, you know, the top side of the fuel tank, just like the underside, it's brand new. There's no dents, no dings, anything in that trunk, in the gas tank, trunk, or anything. So it's in all excellent condition. We're going to go ahead and shut this now. 
Close is real nice. Your, door, your trunk gaps on the back here are real nice. Elevations are really good on the trunk lid itself. And uh, as far as that goes, the rear of the car, that takes care of that. We're going to go ahead and work our way up the passenger side of the car now. Now going up the passenger side of the car, starting from the back, working our way front. Again, you've got that uh, very traditional black rear spoiler on the, on the trunk there of the car. Again, from the quarter panel up through the door onto the front fender, we've got that black and gold Mach 1 stripe on top of that Gulfstream aqua paint. Uh, we've also, again, got that Mustang horse emblem on the sail panels. We're going to go ahead and walk our way up here to the door. We'll talk about this. Uh, the gaps on the doors look good. Elevations are good as well going up here to the passenger side. We're going to go ahead and open that door up. Show you those door gaps or the, the door jams. Uh, jams all look good again on this side as well. Weather stripping, seals all look great too. There's no, no dryness, no cracking, nothing. They look pretty new as far as all your seals go. So you should get a nice watertight seal. Again, just a white, uh, kind of the mixed uh, white interior with your seats and your door panels and headliner. The black dash, black center column, black carpeting. Uh, with those stitched in formats, both front and rear on those. Uh, on this side also, you've got the, the built-in in-dash clock that would have came on this car, along with the little Mach 1 emblem there right above the uh, glove box. Uh, we're going to go ahead and shut that door. The door shuts nice and easy. Again, you've got the passenger side mirror, just like you do over on the driver's side. Again, all of your chrome moldings, trim, bright work, that all is in very good condition on this car. Work our way forward a little bit here. Uh, we've got, again, our hood here, all steel. The elevations, the gaps in the hood, all look very good on this car. Uh, again, you've got those factory steel chrome uh, wheels, and they're wrapped in the BF Goodrich Radial TA tires. And as we get clear to the front again, and you've got that beautifully chromed front bumper up here as well. Uh, that's pretty much it uh, for our Mustang here. show you the underside here of this 1969 Ford Mustang Mach 1. Uh, you can see up here we've got everything's pretty much new underneath this car. The fuel tank, it's new. Uh, no dents, dings, scratches or anything on that thing. Real nice condition. Um, next you'll notice on both sides you've got full stainless steel exhaust the whole way up through. Uh, that's MagnaFlow mufflers also. Uh, it's all complete even with the X-pipe up there. Uh, also, you have the leaf spring rear suspension with a set of air shocks on the back and those are all hooked up to the 9 inch Ford rear end here. Um, that's really all there is to speak about under the rear section here. Uh, oh, uh, I did forget, manual drum brakes too on the back. Um, on the front though we do have power disc brakes, uh, drilled slotted rudder, so we'll show you those whenever we get up there. Um, but that's it for under the rear. Um, let's move up to the center of the car. Okay, under the center of the 69 Mustang, uh, we're going to go ahead and just show you that exhaust again. Again, really nice condition here. All stainless steel, MagniFlow mufflers back here. Uh, work our way forward here. The floors on this car, they're in good shape. Now it has had left and right floor pans put in it, but they used the correct floor pans in it. Uh, and they did everything real nice up there. Seam sealed it. Well, it looks real good there. Uh, again, your exhaust has the X-pipe there. The subframes uh, are all in good condition. Um, as far as uh, transmission goes, that is the Ford TNC four-speed manual transmission. Uh, and that's uh, right behind a 351 Cleveland motor. Um, and uh, the only other thing is, uh, which you can't really see in the video, uh, but we'll talk about them, the uh, rocker panels on the car. They're, uh, they're in real good shape as well. There's no, no rust, no holes, no patching on those uh, uh, 
those rocker panels either. So we'll go ahead and work our way now to the front. And now to finish up, we're under the front of the 69 Mustang Mach 1. Uh, we'll start out here at the passenger side and work our way across. Uh, this car has power disc brakes, uh, drilled and slotted rotors. Uh, it looks like fairly new uh, calipers on the front, uh, as well as new brake hoses, um, both sides. Uh, you also have all your steering components, uh, linkages, the, uh, the uh, boots, and all of your ball joints and everything look to be in good condition on the car. Um, work our way to the center here, all of the steering, it is power steering, uh, but all of the components on there look to be uh, fairly new. The drag link, uh, uh, all of your power accessories there for the steering look to be fairly new. All new power steering lines, everything. Um, just looks like they put a lot of new stuff on this to make sure that they kept up with the maintenance. Again, it's got that 351 Cleveland motor on it. Uh, you've got the front sway bar, you've got the front strut rods also, uh, and you also have an aluminum radiator up there to help with the cooling on the car. Um, that is it as far as underneath our Mustang. If you're interested in the vehicle that you just saw in our video, or any of our other vehicles here at Hangsters, please feel free to give us a call at 724-471-2975 or visit us at our website at hangsters.com.